Hello, uh, very quick unboxing. This is for the um, Thermal Right Phantom Spirit 120 Evo CPU cooler. So um, let's just have a quick look. The box isn't sealed, um, so we'll just crack one and get it open. how that came out. Uh, there's a quality control leaflet, I think. I don't speak Chinese, so I don't know what that means. Uh, instruction guide, installation guide. Uh, seems pretty straightforward. The fan wiring guide, so it supports multiple sockets. Uh, it doesn't support AM3, because obviously they've stopped making AM3 now, so that's that one there. And here's the box. Let's see what's in this one. That's the massive box of fittings. So obviously you choose the bits and bobs that you need. A couple of fan clips. There's a fan splitter as well, so you can run the fans off one header. That's the box of bits. These, I think, must be the fans. So that's one fan there. Yeah, there's quite a bit of weight to it. There's another fan, so you get two fans with it. And there's two the same, obviously. And this is the main cooler. I'll just check that out. And then make sure the box has got nothing else in it, which it doesn't. So that's that box dealt with. This is the main cooler. The actual cooler itself. So there it is. It's quite tall. Um, obviously there's a little sticker on the bottom that you need to take off before you start screwing things in. Quite nice details on the top there. That looks quite nice. So I'll just stand it up like that. Do you get thermal paste with it? Yes, you do. Let's see what sort you get. You get some thermal rights um, TF7, wherever that is. I think the paste. You get a few degrees difference, I think, with the paste. I think what matters more is uh, what you, uh, how you spread it on, what thickness you use, and this kind of thing. And also, um, uh, well, that's about it, isn't it? It's about the thickness of the paste. Some of them, you got to watch the stuff like liquid metal because that creeps. So, um, but yeah, that, I'll use that. And um, okay, so that's what you get. So, not massively exciting, but nonetheless quite useful. There is one thing I want to look though. The cooler is quite tall. And because it's got its little plastic bit there, I can stand it on the desk. So, I'll stand it up like that. Let's just see. Because that, that screwdriver does reach, but it touches the, it touches the fins. So... I'll try this. That doesn't quite reach, so that. There we are. <laughs> uh, this is the the rolling um, rolling dog toolkit. I made an unboxing video. They sent me one to review. I did mention that it would be quite useful for things like this. So this this particular cooler doesn't come with a screwdriver. Um, so you obviously have to have your own long one and that one is absolutely perfect for that as you can see move it to there so as you can see it's perfect for that so your standard screwdriver um like this one isn't quite it, it goes in but it it touches it so obviously you could get an extending arm for the one that you've got as well there is that as well so but i shall actually be using this so um yeah uh, any any questions stick them in the comments any comments stick them in the comments um liking and subscribing is appreciated this particular cooler is going in um there on that system um 
so um yeah there'll be a few videos coming about this later on um but um, in the meantime thanks for watching so after the unboxing um i thought i might as well include um the fitting there's the little plastic thing <laughs> remember to take that off and um that's it actually fitted there look and it does it looks quite nice this is the uh, slightly unusual this is the evo case so it's in the inverted orientation so it's going on the left side of the desk and not the right and it's right in there and i'll just shove the camera in there and hopefully if i move it around enough you'll see there is clearance between that heat shield on the back that heat sink on the back on the io area on the voltage regulators and you'll see that there is enough room it looks better if 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 they're, they're completely flush but um symmetry is important so if it matches it still looks nice so um yeah now fitting it the paste because what i normally do is i normally put a splodge in the middle and then um, put a bit of cling film on my finger and then just rub it around so i know that it's going to be flat this paste does not doesn't spread very well it's quite thick stuff so um, I've shoved the load on and squeezed it in and um, well I'm sure it'd be all right because it, it doesn't unless you leave the paste out completely or put way too much on the thermals are, are you know it matters but it's not you know I'm not going to take it off and <laughs> put it back on again unless I have to so um, yeah so I hope you find this useful um, obviously there's a whole load of bits left over because it supports so many different sockets um, keep those bits remember and obviously keep the box too so that when you come to sell it you can um, and um, yeah like and subscribe if you can or if you want to and uh, thanks for watching hello <laughs> um, I've tagged this on the end of the video because I, it suddenly occurred to me that when I was unboxing that maybe it's better to um, see what it's like when it's actually being used and you get a bit more insight into it rather than just seeing what's in the box so um, I'm going to talk about the cooler again it's the um, it, I, I am astonished actually <laughs> uh, here it is in the case obviously the side panels aren't on but okay but it, Prime 95 is hammering all cores so essentially 16 threads at 100 percent and it's been running like that for about an hour and a half two hours actually nearly, nearly come up to one one hour 50 minutes and the temperature is um 65 degrees and this is quite a hot room because um there's various computers in here that are just like dumping loads of heat into the room so it's it's 65 degrees and it's been absolutely thrashing the hell out of it um that, that's amazing so this cooler is brilliant and it, i don't think it was very expensive obviously you can search for how much it is where you are but it wasn't very expensive um i'll unclip the the gopro and we'll take some other shots of it like this i'll just unclip it from the, the stand and i'm just going to go in a little bit like this and you can see that uh, i have actually disabled the leds on it why they put leds on I do not know because there I don't know if you can see there's that that light where my finger is there there's like a semicircle maybe it's better if I put a torch on it so I'll just get a torch out and we'll see if that if it's better with the torch see if you can see it with the torch so there's that light gray little flash on the side there's one on each corner that's where the leds are so um what's the point of them <laughs> don't bother with the leds just leave it without the actual case yeah it looks the actual case fits everything in nicely i'll do a story about this for the end of another video it's the evo xl but it's um the actual cooler looks really it looks pretty smart the where they've got the the sort of pressed metal sort of lines on it are pretty good and there's a bit of a close-up of the of the temperatures there and it is um there's proof that it's getting thrashed it is um <laughs> it is a remarkable little cooler for the money i mean this is uh, 66 degrees and it's just absolutely just 
yes. So um, you should seriously consider this cooler. And here's the proof. Fitting it was quite easy. Um, it doesn't come with a screwdriver like the Be Quiet ones do, but the actual fittings are down there and you can see where they are, hopefully. And the, you can't, obviously the way this is, this is the inverted mode for the case. So it's pulling air in from the back and drawing it through. And it's actually um, working extremely well. Um, so I'm delighted with it. Anyway, if this is useful, then um, liking and subscribing is appreciated. If you uh, have any comments, then stick them in the comments. Um, and I will stop with this one now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, this cooler is brilliant. Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching. <laughs>